Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a review of the Vaxi Zgen NPO1S Wireless, a mouse that I've really been anticipating for a while now, and Vaxi finally delivered it, and uh, yeah, I've been using it for a while. I've actually had two units. I accidentally gave away the first unit I actually bought, then they sent this one out. Neither of them had any type of uh, build quality issues. I know there was some side flexing issue that I have not experienced on either copy. And what makes this mouse so interesting, let me just get my dog off of my desk. So yeah, what makes this mouse different is going to be the shape. And I mean, how often in a mouse review do you hear shape is king? It's pretty worn. I don't agree with it personally. I think comfort is king. I think that's the new trend because you can have your favorite shape, but if it's on like a 300 gram steel mouse, you're not going to fucking like it. It's just not true. So you're going to like whatever you're most comfortable with. And the NPO one S is just a very nice, excellent, comfortable shape for me, at least because it's not exactly like your normal ambi mouse. Clearly it is asymmetrical. You can see it on the base, but it's also not your typical ergo formula. Um, it's not like an EC shape, not like a G703. It's really just its own mouse. It's a scaled down version of the NPO1, but it's really not even similar to that. It's a lot thinner and lower profile. Um, for me, it's very nice for both a fingertip and claw grip. If you curl your fingers a lot and also like having like this part of your palm contact the mouse, it's just gonna, like, it's a joy to use. It has a nice little curve on the left side. It's nice for your thumb, and then, as I mentioned before, if you curl your fingers or really whatever you do with them on the right side, it's just going to be one of the more comfortable mice. I feel like it is a bit advantageous um, compared to some ambi mice just for how locked in I actually feel with this mouse. I do have 20 by 11 um, hands. A lot of people ask for my hand size and it just feels like a perfect fit. So it's the shape like normally in reviews. I just don't talk about shape this much because I don't give a fuck. I can use anything. But the NPO one S is just especially good and they really delivered with the uh, wireless version. They even made some improvements to the uh, side buttons which was something I complained about they're a lot more spammable light to activate they are like a bit transparent I don't know if that indicates anything different like structurally but um, these feel incredibly good like Vaxi got their stuff together with the side buttons I mean even the scroll wheel is not nearly as like notchy and loud as it used to be I can't quite remember if they made that adjustment on the XE wireless um but yeah it's definitely pretty nice here I don't know why I'm like throwing the mouse instead of spinning it new tick just dropped um but yeah the weight of this is not going to be as light as some of the other mice coming out right now I believe it is 68 or 69 grams um the weight balancing fuck I just grabbed it at the wrong place uh the weight balancing is pretty solid in hand there's no like actual noticeable discrepancy but one thing is that these skates obviously I can just replace them, but I just find Vaxi's stock skates to be extremely controlled, um, just on the more controlled side. So yeah, it really is a unique experience because I'm not going to say that this mouse is heavy, but it's definitely heavier than some of the other small mice on the market, um, but it just feels nice. I only had to compensate by raising my sense a bit. I was still using this on a more controlled pads, even with the slightly heavier weight and controlled skates, like it just felt extremely good. Definitely made me question if every mouse coming out has to be below 50 grams, like 4K Hertz, just fast as feeling because I mean this just felt I don't know I'm definitely a vaxi shill specifically the NPO1S just mice not really any mice hit like this but yeah speaking of the wireless this mouse does have a 3395 but it is limited to 1k polling as you can see um, all of the settings are on the mouse but vaxi advertises their competition mode I'm not sure if this is different from pixart's corded mode um, honestly there's just a lot of sensor jargon but this essentially makes the sensor scan at full speed like run at higher power um, subsequently there is a bit worse battery life I think they still advertise around 60 hours versus 100 on the standard mode um, but yeah it's basically just a higher power mode that makes the sensor feel a bit more stable just like sharp and fluid feeling I guess would be the best way to put it so yeah, it definitely does feel a cut above some of the standard 3395 mice with motion sync running on basically default comp x firmware and mice with 3370s like you could tell me that this was running at a higher polling rate I'd probably believe you so I'm a fan of the tech um, I obviously wish it was 4k I don't know if that would cause issues with battery life but if a company can push the tech you know like why not do it but yeah this is going to be a reliable wireless implementation in the same way that Zowie would not put out a product that's going to have like 
Um, compatibility and interference issues, this will not either. So yeah, really nothing bad to say about the wireless. I obviously would not take it over like a Razer 4K implementation, uh, but definitely one of the better 1K Hertz mice I have tried. Next thing to talk about, I guess, would be the clicks. Maxi does still have the split off click design. It's like a completely engineered piece inside of the mouse uh, that focuses on like having the best click feeling. Basically, I do have this one small issue that I'll get into, but you can just see how light the clicks are and how fast they rebound. There's some of the best um, for just spamming but I do have this weird issue where if I hold down my click I will get this like grinding or creaking sensation but only when I'm like pressing on the mouse pad I'll try to like bring my mic down in a way where you can hear it not sure if you can hear that like creaking but it's definitely something weird it only happens when I really go for it, just clicking standardly, it's like not going to be an issue. But yeah, I guess that would be the one quality nitpick I have, a sort of like grinding, creaky post-travel. Um, but once again, since I don't click towards the top of the clicks, I'm not like pressing down like this every time I click, it's not really anything that is an issue in game. But yeah, these clicks, if you've ever felt like a Vaxi mouse, you probably like the click feeling. It's just a pretty sharp, fast experience there's really nothing to hate about it doesn't feel mushy or low quality already covered the side buttons which they made a lot less stiff and just overall improved compared to the wired version they released a few years ago this is totally a fortnite viable mouse with the scroll wheel and side buttons whereas before i just feel like it wouldn't be the uh, number one choice but now there's nothing wrong with it obviously uses USB-C to charge um, since this is this is the second unit I got I only have had to charge it one time in what has been a couple days of use but yeah I don't know what else there is to cover about this mouse it's a really um, well done it is a solid package it's hundred and twenty dollars so it's not the cheapest mouse but it's also not at that hundred and fifty dollar plus price point that mice seem to be releasing at if you're a fan of this shape or if you just like the way this mouse sounds you're looking for something that's like a bit of an off ambi shape that's still like viable if that's the type of mouse you're looking for um i don't know it's just it's just all good um definitely getting the seal of approval if you cannot tell from the tone of this review um the coating is one thing i have not covered it's extremely gr grippy um and kind of rubberized not the exact same what the fuck my faker death adder is creaking now oh no um, it eventually succumbed, but uh, yeah, no creaking on this, as you can hear. But yeah, the coating is not going to have any issues with like moisture or any prints showing. As you can see, there is a little bit of grime where I rest my index finger, but overall, it's just a super nice, high quality coating. It's available in a lot of colorways, which is something I like to see mice that have a bit of color compared to the normal doom and gloom of the summer. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Um, kind of all over the place, very positive mouse review, and yeah. Yeah, I don't know, this is definitely something that will be in my main rotation despite the weight and just not being the number one trend following mouse. It's just something that I really enjoy using. So there's a lesson in this somewhere. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and that's gonna be all, peace.